A Better Way to Live. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 193. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 193, December 4th, 2016 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. And if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we will add you to our newsletter list. Or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit us on social media and manage your updates that way. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core standards. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the final 25% of the written content for the consciousness lesson plan to the website, as you see here. This lesson plan purpose to teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central theme of consciousness is now 100% completed on our website. Behind the scenes, we wrote the second 25% section of the written part of the cognition lesson plan. We also completed the third 25% of the mind map for the individuality lesson plan, bringing it to 75% complete, which you see here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team began to reformat and add sections and anchor links to recipe pages for our transition kitchen strategy. You can see a before and after image of a sample of that work here on the vegan rice recipe page. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. The core team and Ashwini Ramesh, civil engineer and project manager, put another combined total of 15 hours into the crowdfunding campaign we are developing. This week's focus was the behind-the-scenes content editing for the site selection and preparation page and detailing the AutoCAD images needed for all other sections, as shown here. The core team also completed another large round of revisions for the upcoming Seven Villages online book. You can see some of these revisions here, including an updated in color version of the Duplical City Center floor plan and new imagery and descriptions on the Recycled Materials Village Pod 6 and the Shipping Container Village Pod 5 spreads. Shilsey Augustine, architect, also continued with her help creating and testing a standardized color set for our AutoCAD files. This work is happening on the Earth Big Village Pod 1 file you see here. Fernando Rimolina, industrial engineer specializing in project management, continued with his seventh week of managing the vermiculture bathroom development with the third week of help from Lin Chu, mechanical engineer student. This week's focus, as shown here, was beginning clarifying task assignments and beginning the foundation work with his team. Dean Scholz, architectural designer, continued helping us create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here's update 45 of his work, creating all the iterations you see here leading up to this final rooftop view looking southeast render. Hamilton Matika, AutoCAD and Revit drafter and designer, 
also finished his 20th week helping with the compressed earthblock village pod 4 design details. This week's focus was on testing and updating textures for the bricks, frames, and railings as shown here. Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, continued with 3D earthblock construction for the compressed earthblock village pod 4 labyrinth meditation walking path. This week's focus was working on the dark to light texture pattern shown here and minor layout corrections. Aparna Tandon, architect, additionally continued her work on the compressed earth block village external elements. What you see here is her ninth week of work focusing on merging the code compliant fire road with the surrounding area where appropriate and a completely new central play and relaxation area. She also converted Guy's 3D bench design from a few weeks ago into the AutoCAD design shown here. Yi Cheng Ho, interior designer, also finished her ninth week of helping with the Shipping Container Village Pod 5 renders for the living units. This week's focus was finishing these two back-to-back -back single residence designs created using three shipping containers. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued render creation for the Duplicle City Center. This included continuing the structural column updates for the kitchen and the dining dome, as seen here, and preliminary render position testing for the outdoor aspects of the open source natural pool area. Iris Sue, industrial designer, also continued her work on the recycled pipe shelving for the Duplicle City Center Library. This week's focus was continuing development of the assembly instructions with the most visible changes being the new imagery for showing changing the lighting color in the library. Shunan e, Masters of Mechanical Engineering and Civil Engineering PhD, also continued working on the City Center Structural Engineering. This week's work focused on calculations for the added braces you see here that will support the fourth floor and storage rooms attached to the elevator area. Jin Chi Feng, environmental consultant, also continued her research helping us create an in-depth laundry and dryer machine sustainability analysis. What you see here is her 13th week of behind the scenes work on this area of the project. This week's focus was explaining and graphically showing the water and energy comparisons of conventional washers with Energy Star washers. Also, Jennifer Zhao, web designer, and Ashwin Patil, web developer, finished their fourth week of collaboratively working on the open source pipe furniture page. This week's focus was working on improving the slider image function and finalizing the general layout shown here for the different tutorial sections. Rami Avudi, electrical engineer, Shubham Agrawal, electrical engineer, and Mike Hogan, automation systems developer and business systems consultant, continued working on the electrical design for the control and automation systems. What you see here is the team's fifth week of work on focusing on research and planning for the control panel size and placement. Lucas Tsui Da Silva, fourth year computer engineering student, also did long cable tests for the Pi 2 updated code he'd been testing for functionality and updated the current requirements spreadsheet to include the total current information for the main controller box. And Hennen Dantes, mechanical engineer, continued with his third week working on creating our next generation of Duplicle City Center section drawings. This week's focus was primarily on adding more section details, creating a better layer system for the complete structure, and updating the colors for the different layers so everything is easier to see. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. Ashwin Patil, web developer, and Jennifer Zhao, web designer, also completed what is collectively the ninth week of work developing the new site search engine. This week's focus was inputting the details for the first half of the highest good education section and writing the code for the rest of that same section. And Yuri Vite, music composer and sound designer, completed his fifth week of helping create the music that will accompany the new overview video we are planning. This week's focus was another new intro, changes in the transitions between the music and where the different intensity builds happen, and adding new drum details. 
You can hear some of the track in the background here and listen to all the progressions on Yuri's SoundCloud. Everything one community is doing is working to design, build, and demonstrate a better way to live. We want to show people that living sustainably can create a better way to live. It'll provide more of the things that people want. It'll provide more time, more things to do, more time with friends and family, a better environment, healthier food, air, water, all of these different things all established on a foundation of what we consider to be an evolution of sustainability. Taking the physical foundations of sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, combining them with the emotional foundations of sustainability, which we've identified as highest good education, highest good economics, fulfilled living practices, and true earth stewardship. Putting these things together to provide a better way to live and open sourcing and free sharing all the foundations, the food, the energy, the housing, the education, the economic models, the fulfilled living practices, the stewardship models, all of these things, putting them together and open sourcing and free sharing the do it yourself tools, tutorials, resources, and instructions so that people can replicate them, modify them, adapt them to their specific needs. And in the ultimate expression of everything that we're creating, build, one community. One community is designed to be a demonstration of what is possible, a demonstration of a better way to live that people can visit, people can experience it for those with like minds that want to be a part of the creative and constant ongoing open sourcing evolution and design process, a place where people can live. Essentially what we're creating is one community as a model designed specifically to help create other models. We call this a solution model, create additional solution creating models. And the idea is that one community can be built anywhere in the world, different versions of it, different adaptations. And those open source and free share adaptations will help to build additional versions of it as well. Creating a global collaboration and cooperation of people and organizations and groups and communities, teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities and hubs around the world working together to create a better way of, to live for everyone. Our idea is that if we work together and if we design a self-replicating model, if we can make one community, replicating one community, easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrates attractive enough, then the idea will spread its own and human ingenuity will take care of the rest. And so we're doing this because if that self-replicating model can be achieved, we believe that we can create a sustainable world within our lifetime that benefits everyone. We can truly create a planet that works for everybody within our lifetime. And so we're bringing together people to consciousness for the highest good of all. People are like, hey, how do we create something that works for everybody? Why would we even bother? Well, there's a lot of us that think that this is really the most noble intention that we can set. It's what we're really here to do. And so we're bringing together people that agree with that, and we're creating that. So if this is you, if this sounds interesting to you, if this sounds fun to you, if it sounds exciting to you, if it sounds like uh, an adventure and a venture that you'd like to get involved in, we invite you to participate. Get involved. Join us. Help us create a better way to live for you and for everybody else that you know by contributing your knowledge and your creativity and your ideas for what you think is the most sustainable and the best, most economical and intelligent way to live to our knowledge base to our group's time and energy and work. We put tens of thousands of, energy, of hours of work into creating the model. And we're open sourcing and free sharing it so that people can take what we've done and improve upon it, replicate it if they like the way that we've done it already, improve upon it if they think that they can do it better, adapt it, change it to meet their own needs, goals, values, etc. And anyone can participate. We're really setting it up so that anybody can help us out and get involved, take the, take the components that we're designing and have developed and use them in the way that works best for you. This is how one community is creating world change. This is our idea of a better way to live for, of creating a better way to live for everyone. And this is what we're contributing to every single week. So to make it as easy as possible to share this information. Now, the easiest way to help and also the easiest way to take advantage of everything that we're doing is just to access it through social media. So if you'd like to help us, help us share through social media. If you'd like to just use our information, then access it through social media. We are on all the different social media networks to make this as easy as possible. We are on Facebook. We are on Twitter. We are on Tumblr. We are on Reddit. We are on Pinterest. We are on about 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible for people to access our information, to share our information, to get the word out, to spread these ideas, because we're working towards a tipping point of global participation where we can eventually touch the lives of everyone. 
And we have designed one community to simultaneously address all of the challenges of this generation and generations to come by making it open source, by making it adaptable, but by specifically designing it to address world hunger, housing shortages, deficits in education, quality and availability and accessibility, social injustice, crime, war, poverty. All of these things are built into the model with our best attempt to address those in a way that can be replicated anywhere in the world, can evolve, can adapt, can provide a better way to live for anyone, anywhere that wants to participate. So this is what we're doing. People ask, well, what's the biggest thing that we could do to help one community? Well, the largest thing that you can do to help one community is we are still seeking large scale funding to help us get the property off the market. That's the number one thing right now that would help one community. It's not actually what we're focusing on. What we're really focusing on is all the components, everything that's necessary to be ready to build. We wanna create a better way to live for people right now. And so everything that we're doing right now is usable by people all around the world. And we're working towards everything that's necessary to build all of one community so that people have a place that they can come, they can experience. If they like what they see, they can take it elsewhere and replicate it. If they share our values and they wanna be a part of creating this whole process in one community and living in one community, they can apply, become a member to do that. But that's our primary focus. But we're still seeking large scale funding to purchase the property, to get the property off the market so we can share and disclose the location and take our whole building development process to the next level. So if you or somebody you know has the resources or access to the resources that would like to either invest in one community or donate to our 501c3 nonprofit organization, we would love to speak with you. Our entire organization is unpaid volunteers, including myself. We are all volunteering and doing this because we want to live this way, because we believe in a world that meets the needs of everybody and because we believe that we're the ones that we've been waiting for. We're taking action. We're calling out to people that share the consciousness for the highest good of all. If you share the consciousness for the highest good of all, we would like to talk to you, join our organization, help us create this faster. It's really at this point, just a matter of participation. The technology exists. The path is clearly defined. We've got it on our website to the tiniest detail. And now it's just a process of doing the work. And like I said, we've put tens of thousands of hours into it. And there's still tens of thousands of hours to be done. And so the more of us that participate, the faster it will be completed, the faster we'll have a place for people to visit, the faster the self-replicating model will be realized, the faster we can reach that, reach that tipping point of global participation so that we can positively and permanently transform the lives for everyone and everything, every living thing on this planet, simultaneously addressing the challenges because we see them as not only interrelated, all the challenges not only interrelated, but as interdependent. And to address them all, a comprehensive solution that simultaneously addresses them all is really the approach that we see as most likely to succeed. And so this is what we're doing. This is how we're creating it. This is our idea of creating a better way to live for everyone. This is it. So thanks for following our progress. Thank you for the small donations that help. We're all unpaid volunteers. So the $5, the $10, the $15, the $20 donations, all those things really make a difference. Thank you for the emails. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the shares. If you like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, all the free shared things that we're creating, visit our written blog, visit our website, check it out. If you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we will add you to our newsletter list. If you'd like to get involved, visit our helping page. There's lots of different opportunities, but uh, if you just want to support, thanks for watching to the end of this video. We appreciate every little bit of support that we get. Appreciate all the emails. Appreciate all the help on social media. Thank you for following our progress. Until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thank you.